so welcome to the, I think this is the 13th Shenzhen International Auto Show. It's during the National Day holiday, so there are a lot of people here. So it's going to be a busy one. I was here for the, uh, the Bay Area Auto Show a few months ago. I'm interested to see some of the newer models that they have on display. So come on, let's go take a look. Okay, so the hard part's done. That's getting through the health checks and security checks, like three different health codes. And then we go up the stairs and then we give them the ticket to get into the show. And considering all the security checks and the ticket checks, security again, patting you down to get into here. But it's amazing with so many people here, how efficient it all really is. They do a good job. This here, this is the new Toyota Sienna. Brand new. Wow, for a minivan, this is pretty nice. I like the exterior lights right here as they come down like that. That's pretty cool. Don't you just want to run up and give them a big hug? And of course, Pokemon. Of course, it's very loud and there are a lot of people here. And we're here early in the day. It's just going to get louder and louder as the day goes on. This is the new Way Macchiato. Way has gone away from the VV6 and gone more towards the Macchiato, the Latte, kind of a coffee theme. We're sitting in the Way Mocha, and this is very, very nice. This is made by um, uh, Great Wall Motors. It's kind of their upper level SUV. I have to say, I love the interior, but the center console is a lot of very cheap plastic. Unfortunately, this center piece here just, it, just feels flimsy and cheap and that's very unfortunate because I really really like the Great Wall products the rest of it is very nice with leather and soft touch everywhere but this one piece right here in the center just feels super cheap although I do like I've seen this in a couple of other vehicles this kind of crystal shifter that's pretty cool the previous generation of way SUVs I liked better this newer generation I know it's supposed to be more modern, but I just feel like it, it's not as unique. The same as all the other ones on the market. Way over there is way too loud. I can't hear myself think. All right, this is a good one. So loud. Oh. This is the new GAC GS8. Brand new. The, light, the lights are vertical now. They were horizontal in the previous generation. Now they're vertical. It's a lot more squared off and boxed off. All right. I love this shifter. This is really nice. Very nicely done. See, this is much nicer. Yeah, much, much nicer. Feels so much better than the Way products across the way. It's just much better quality. DAC has been doing a great job lately. This is the Cherry E1 in pink. You know, these small cars are always wondering if we can get in the back of it. Let's see. I'm in the back seat of this. With Mona driving, I got plenty of leg room. <laughs> you know, I got plenty of headroom back here. This little small car, uh, it's an electric car and it can go on the highway. And I feel pretty safe and comfortable in the back of this. Cherry's done a good job with this EV. Look at that. Now the Ion Y has been on sale for a little while, but I haven't seen one. This looks like something from the 80s. Look at the body kit on this. That's crazy looking. This one here, the back seats will fold down and it has theater mode. You can watch a movie inside. Well, Meister. This is one you looked at and you really like these. This is the EX5Z. Right. 
The really cool thing about these doors, you press the button here, and that pops out the handle. So that's very interesting. All right, all right. I love the splash of orange inside. Yeah. This looks a little funny, like, like childish, you know? A lot of piano, piano black plastic. But I love the, the orange accents in here. Kia. Yeah. A little bland. I mean, as far as the designs go, I mean, these graphics, it's very, very millennial. They're well-made cars, just the design just seems a little boring to me. When you compare it to some of the other offerings, this is the all-new K5. What a great looking car. That's big. The 05 PHEV. All right. It's a uh, SUV hatchback. Ah, oh, it's kind of a good looking car, isn't it? All right. Yeah, very similar interior to the to the 01. The 03. This one is just an awesome car and I love the the toxic green color that you can only get on this one. Unfortunately, they don't have the 09 here. I was looking forward to checking that one out, but the 09 is not here. Chang'an, they're very popular for the Uni T and the Uni K SUVs now. The Uni K, I've taken it through the Uni K before. It's a pretty good car. Yeah, the Uni K is a bigger f than the Uni T. And I actually like the interior of this. I think it's just beautiful. Too many hip hop dancers. This is the Ford Evos. This Evos, I've been wanting to sit in for a very, very long time. You can see here, it's not three different screens, it's one giant screen. This is really nice. The Ford Evos is pretty freaking awesome. Everything feels really, really nice to the touch. The dash has this funny kind of rubbery uh, feeling to it. Look at that. So it's a video, and if I want to move it to, you know, 30 seconds, 20 seconds into the video, and then to 55 seconds into the video, very cool. Wireless charging there. This is really nice. I'm very super impressed with this one. Ford did a great job with this car. It's got some Fordisms occasionally, some like some cheap plastics here and there where you wouldn't expect it. But the overall look in here is pretty awesome. Railway. Now these are everywhere in Shanghai. Look at this tiny little thing. I've seen this before, man. <laughs> Look at this one. This is new. This is something else. It's like a, a wagon. It's a crown. Crown Harrier. This one I'm sitting in now, this is the M6 Plus. This is still very similar to the H6 that I drive now. This is considered the ultra value H, uh, SUV from Havel. 
you can get one of these decked out sunroof leather everything you want for under a hundred thousand yuan it's a really really good deal so this is the basically this my car it's exactly like my car only you can see that everything is kind of similar the engine and the drivetrain is the same one as mine This is the new H6, a very, very good looking car. Right, I gotta do it real fast. They're gonna kick me out. All right, so this is the interior of the H6. What do you think? I don't like this. It's too shiny. No, it's just a dial. It's a dial. Yeah. 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 And this is the older H6 that they're still selling. And I really like that one. Play the music, that's our cue to leave, because it's just too loud. Build your dreams, build your dreams. This is the new DMI. Ah, oh, this one looks, oh, careful. <laughs> wow, look at that. What a great looking EV, huh? I'm telling you guys, BYD, they are coming up. Look at this. I love this. It's so different. Look at this. Everything's really just different in here. Yeah, this place is pretty good. Cool. Yeah, very high quality. Soft plastic. I don't know about the digital. It's very millennial, man, but I just love the design. It's very kind of retro in here. What do you think? 11, 000, 000. 11, this is screen. It does look at this? Wow. Actually, this space is pretty good. Look at these windows here. I mean, they've got great visibility in this car, guys. So you know how I feel about build your dreams on the back, right? Well, a lot of people, what they're doing, these are just glued on. So what they're doing is they're taking them off and then rubbing all the glue residue off so that Build Your Dreams is no longer on the back of the BYD. Yeah, the BYD Tongue, very, very cool car. I like it. This is a Venusia. I've seen this. This is a new thing I'm seeing in all the Venusia. So this is a Dongfeng vehicle. Wow, they did a great job with this, man. It's nice in here. Look at the start button. Look at that. Wow. This is the one I've been waiting for to see this one. I love to see they got the dual headlights, right? Let's take a look at the inside, how they did. All right, it looks great. They did a great job with it. Not too bad, guys, not too bad. Boy, Nissan is coming a long way. I mean, the interiors, they, they, they're very conventional with what's all, what else is in the market. But I have to say, everything in here feels solid. And it's a good, solid car. Nissan's done a good job with this one. Wow. the new MG1. Wow, they did a great job with this. I like it. I like the yellow. Sorry. Okay. No, don't mind me. Go ahead. You see here the shifter. I've seen this in a couple. The Uni T has a shifter like this from Chang'an. Start stop button down here, and then right here is super sport. I got a wrap screen. 
with a touch screen here on the left. That's new, I haven't seen that before. So I've said this in the past about MG that I've never really liked the look of them, but um, they're starting to grow on me, especially the brand new ones that they're coming out with are really, really cool. This is a great example of them. Wow, not a bad looking truck, guys. Not a bad looking truck at all. Yeah, I've, I've been sat in this before. It is a little on the cheap side, but a good looking truck. This is the old one. This one, look at the price. For 74800 you can get the older Dong Fung pickup truck. Base model, of course, with a stick shift. Yeah, everything in here is, is really, really cheap. But for 74,000 yuan, you can get a brand new vehicle. <laughs> if you want it. So this is the Nissan Navarro, all tricked out for Overland. What do you think? Pretty sexy, huh? <laughs> Let's take a look at the interior. Wow. Very interesting interior. But I do like the tent on top. That's pretty cool. Plain white pickup truck. And this one looks pretty good. I like this one a little bit better, actually. Yeah, see, this one doesn't have the leather dash. So, as you can see, because Feng Feng and Nissan have that partnership, they're selling them as Nissans and they're selling them as Feng Feng. Cadillac XT6. Wow. This is very, very nice. Kind of a small screen compared to the competition. Fit for a king. Uh, usually it's behind doors. This is the first time I'm going to be able to sit in this thing. Check this out. You can watch TV in here. This is the first time I've been able to get this close to a hi-fi to film it. Every time I've tried to do this, they've said no to me. So this has suicide rear doors and gold wing doors on the roof. This is for the door and this is for the gold wing door. You can see here. I'm getting a nice massage. But of course, the, the best thing about this is this screen here, this giant entertainment screen for the passenger. I mean, this is like freaking awesome. And the visibility out the front is amazing. This is just one of the sexiest cars in the Chinese market right now. And I'm so happy I actually got a chance to sit in it. It's the first time they let me do that. The Hi-Fi X. I've actually seen this on the road in Zhongshan. There's someone in Zhongshan that owns one of these. So this version of it is for executives. It's pretty slick. So good news is I've made a contact here who's gonna let me film it and do a full review on this car coming soon on my channel. Stay tuned. This is the Series SF5, also known as the Huawei car. They sell these in the actual Huawei stores. They're not built by Huawei, although many of the components inside are actually Huawei. This is geometry. I did a 
uh, one on the Pro, and then I'm gonna be doing one on the Geometry C very soon. Of course, Porsche, still in the Taycan, which is a bitchin' car, don't get me wrong, but for the money, I'll take the G, the uh, Zeker 001 over that. The Xiaopeng P5, we know the G3. I've been wanting to sit in the, in the P5, in the P5. Sitting in here, it feels really nice, it feels really high quality. And I know this is much cheaper uh, than expected. This is the one without all the LiDAR sensors on it. This is just the standard P5, you can see here. That's the LiDAR technology there. This is Dung Fung, and this one has a really cool dash. You press a button, the whole dash goes up. Press another button, the whole dash comes down. Really? Yeah. Very fast. So I like the Arc Fox. There we go. Still very, very nice setup. This is Pi, but in Europe, this is sold as an MG. MG, of course, is built by Shanghai uh, Automotive, and they'll have the MG logo on it, on the Marvel. I'm gonna get to test drive and do a full video on the MG Marvel R very, very soon. Stay tuned to my channel for that. You guys know I love Lee Xiong. I've done videos and talked about Lee Xiong many times. And I cannot wait for the first quarter of next year when their new model comes out. Just a beautiful, beautiful car. Elegant, versatile. It's my favorite Chinese car, is the Lee Xiong. So, of course, Leap Motor, we know, has the small little. Uh, electric coupe sports car this is their suv the brand new one and this is the first time i'm gonna get a chance to look inside it's always been locked every time i try to get inside and it looks great oh i like it i like it a lot yeah this is their first compact suv crossover all electric and it's about 150, 160,000 UN it starts at. And I gotta say, this is this is really nice, guys. <laughs> this is really nice. It's just the materials in here feel pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Feels like a solid car. Yeah. What a good looking car. Small booth for Polestar. This is the Polestar 2. Uh, Polestar is going to go public soon with a valuation of tens of billions of dollars. I love the interiors of these cars, man. They're just gorgeous and you feel like a you're in a cockpit. You really do. When you sit in this car, you want to go fast. Hey, this is the Audi A8L, so look at the, look at the back. And that looks pretty awesome back there. 